Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. My name is Dion. For those of you who haven't been here before, <laughs> the beginning of most videos is chapstick time. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. This is going to be an easy base face for a mature woman. I am 50 years old. This is me with only skincare on. I have a lot of stuff as usual <laughs> going on on my chin, but it has cleared up. And I did go out today, so I did have a mask on, and that always irritates my skin as well. And so I will exfoliate later. But this is me in my full tro trollness. So what I'm going to do is what I've been doing, um, how I've been doing my foundation. And it's only for videos because I don't really wear foundation out because I have a mask on. I should have brought my mask over here. It comes like all the way up to here. <laughs> <laughs> around. It takes up like almost my entire face, which is good. It's a KN95 mask. So I take one pump of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer on my Inglot <laughs> palette. Then I take two pumps of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup 4 in 2 Spiced Sand. So I put two pumps on top of there <clears throat> excuse me so this is all going to be real time so it might seem like it's going to be kind of long then I take just getting off that dot of foundation then I take the Boshia or Bashia Sabaki beauty oil and I put two drops on top of that concoction because I do this this way now, I put my concealer on afterwards because there's no primer to give my concealer something to adhere to. So I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush. It's, a, it's a, an angled brush and it says Instapop Cheek Brush, but I do like this for foundation. So this is the concoction that we have, the primer with the foundation on top and the beauty oil on top of that. And so I just mix it all around and then I start dotting it on my face. I'm really liking this and I'm finding I don't necessarily need to set my face um, with setting powder when I do it this way. Let me know why you think that is. <laughs> because the primer is mixed in and not just the primer on my face and then putting foundation on top of that. Or do you think it has something to do with the beauty oil? Which I, I don't think it would because the beauty oil helps the foundation go on smoother because this is a matte foundation. And so it helps it to not be as matte and I'm able to get it on quicker with less work as far as blending. Because with some matte foundations if you don't work quick, it dries really quick because it is so matte. But with this process, I am really liking it. And I did use all of that. <laughs> so I'm going to scrape some more. And it makes my skin feel really good. Like my skin doesn't feel dried out. It doesn't feel itchy. It doesn't feel really tight. And with this brush too, as you see, I did my entire face like super fast because it is a, a larger brush. Is that a gray hair? Nope, it's lint. And I do have a big face. And so <laughs> this helps with that. I'm wondering if I do even want to do concealer today. And usually I don't go under my eye with whatever's left the foundation on my brush. But because I need primer under there for if I do use concealer and also just to have my face be as uniform in color as possible. So what I'm going to take now is the Bordeaux Brat Fenty Match Stick. And this is what I use as a blush. It never looks even when I dot it on and then I just blend it out as evenly as possible. My makeup from one side of my face to the other never looks the same. And I use the same brush, whichever one I use for my foundation is the one that I use to stipple in 
this blush. And so this is what we have. I think I will put on concealer so you can see how I do that. And also I will set my under eye with powder so this concealer does not crease as much. I keep wanting to, not that I keep wanting to, I keep thinking periodically about buying an actual camera to dedicate to doing, look how shiny the tip of my nose is. <laughs> I think every now and then to get a camera to dedicate to my YouTube videos, but then when I look at how much they are, I'm like, mm. maybe one day if I get monetized. <laughs> which at this rate will be years, <laughs> years more than the years I've already been on here, then maybe I will invest in official equipment. So that's how I do my foundation. So I am going to do the concealer. And this is the <laughs> Sephora Bright Future <laughs> gel concealer. I always have to read it like I don't know what it is and I've been using it for years and so I put a line here and I put a line there. Usually it's, it's a dot that people put but for some reason I just do it that way and I think it's because of how the applicator is it just makes me want to do a line. <laughs> if it was like a ball tip then I would probably just do a dot. So I'm going to use this is a Fenty brush, foundation brush 110. I'm just going to use this just to dot that in. Well, to stipple it in, not dot it in. And then I come on the side and I pat that in, pat that out. And whatever's left, I go underneath. So again, I'm not putting concealer directly underneath. When I was putting primer on my face first, this is how I would do my concealer. And then I would put on foundation. Um, so this time I do actually have a foundation under there because I put my foundation on my face first. So this is a completely different new process that I've been doing and that I have been enjoying, except when I was experimenting with the Rare Beauty concealer, it cracked horribly. I watched a video today from Jen Loves Reviews and she pulled down and showed how it was creasing on her and that's the same exact thing it did to me. But unlike her video, when I would try to smooth it out, like if this creases, I, I am able to smooth it out with my finger, pat it out. But with that concealer, it dried down so much that once it cracked, I was not able to smooth it out at all. It was just horrible. I did return it today. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm now going to take the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. It's the translucent setting powder, the Fenty Brush 195. And I am just going to sit under my eye in my T-zone area because my T-zone area gets shiny. And I am going to do a few videos since I am sitting here in front of my camera. And because I did put foundation on. I tend to do my videos two or three times in a row. I haven't had a lot of energy lately, the state of the country and different things that are going on. And I live alone, I'm used to being alone, but there are times when, you know what, I'm gonna just go ahead and set my entire face very lightly because I'm gonna put on um, another setting powder to put some more color into my face because I'm looking a little pasty. And so, but there are days when I, I do feel a tinge of loneliness and I've been just a bum mostly. And so when I get a burst of energy or I feel a little bit of motivation, I'm like, let me just put something on my face and just do videos. And so that's part of like my self care. This is the cashew setting powder from Fenty. And I'm going to use another one of her brushes. <laughs> this one is actually her setting brush. So I'm, I'm going to swirl some in the lid. This is a little pinkish on me, but for times like now, it does add some color back into my skin. I don't use this in the summer, but this works well for me for the cool. Oof. This works well for me in the cooler months when I get 
lighter. And so that gives me just enough why I don't look pasty. And I'm still going to use nutmeg very lightly just as a contour. And I'm going to still use the same brush and I just put a little on the lid. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so when I get a burst of energy or some motivation from somewhere, then I will just sit here and do my face and then I'm like, oh, I'll just knock out a couple videos. Or if I have an idea for a video, I'll just knock them out and then I might get another idea, so I'll just do another one. And so that's why a lot of my videos I'm wearing the same thing. And since I'm home most of the time, I do mostly just wear tank tops and I do have quite a few of them in different colors. And so if you have noticed, you know, her outfits always look the same. It's probably because I did those videos all on the same day. See how that worked out? Gave me like just enough color. And I don't have to go through and highlight with concealer by just adding um, a deeper shade on the perimeter of my face. Because I do like my complexion. I just don't like when I look pasty, which I do sometimes, as you saw. Um, I do have chapstick on. So I'm not going to do anything to my lips. Am I going to do anything to my lips? I am. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to use the Clean Glossy Lip Oil from Sephora. And this shade is Blackberry. And this is oily as well. So it does, it's not going to bother me to put this over top of the chapstick. Because they're the same consistency, almost. And this will give me just a little bit of color. So this is a really easy, just base face for a mature woman. And so you can see how you can get your face to highlight or to look highlighted. There's a mirror down here, so I don't even know why I'm like trying to use this up here. Ah, that's the crazy in me. Not utilizing what I have right in front of me. And making things more difficult for myself. So a really easy base face for a mature woman without putting on a ton of product, without feeling like you have to bake or you have to highlight. I'm wondering if I want to put on setting spray because I'm sweating. I will do my brows really quick just because... <laughs> Since we're doing our face, I'm not going to do an eyeshadow look though. Do you guys want to see me do my brows? We're going to keep it like this and we're going to call this a no makeup makeup look for a mature woman of 50 years old. And so this is where we're going to stop this video. Thank you for being here. Let me know how you do your base face. Let me know how you're liking using minimal product. Um, and what you do just on a regular basis. And so thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video. Bye.